One of the key ingredients to a successful society is missing today. People act as if there is no God to whom we will all one day give an account, but there is. What we do in secret is seen by God, thus we should always strive to be the same in private as we are in public. Generally, our nation's founders believed in this notion of divine accountability. Author Bill Federer once compiled a book on the 13 colonies that became the United States of America. It is called The Original 13, a documentary history of religion in America's first 13 states. Federer says, quote, it's interesting to see how so many of the constitutions of the original 13 states of our country mentioned the importance of belief in God because it was viewed as a requirement for moral behavior because to God we will one day give an account. As the constitutions changed over time, becoming less religious and more secular, there was still this angle of divine accountability, end quote. For instance, Federer cites the Pennsylvania Constitution of 1776, which required office holders to acknowledge, quote, one God, the creator and governor of the universe, the rewarder of the good and the punisher of the wicked, and the scriptures of the Old and New Testament given by divine inspiration, end quote. Even Ben Franklin signed this. Federer adds that later constitutions of Pennsylvania watered down these requirements, and yet they still stipulated that office holders should acknowledge, quote, the being of a God and a future state of rewards and punishments, end quote. Knowledge of our accountability to God usually changes how we act. Indeed, we will all stand before Jesus, the judge, one day. That's why it's best to make peace with God through Jesus, the Savior and Lord, before we die. For D. James Kennedy Ministries, I'm Jerry Newcomb.